Hey guys, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Sega CD games. But just like the other Sega consoles, there are two cores you can use, but this time it matters which one you choose. And I'll go over the differences in a minute, but first let's go over how to get these cores onto your system. The first step you have to do is hack your classic system. I'm going to leave my tutorial on how to do that in the description. Once your system is hacked, the first step is to go to modules and then to the Hackchi Mod Store. You're going to go to the RetroArc tab and you're going to download the newest version of RetroArc Neo. Just hit the button right here that says download module. Then you're going to go to the RetroArc Cores tab. The two cores you can use are Genesis Plus GX and Pico Drive. To install those you just make sure they're highlighted and once again hit the download module button. We're going to download both of those. You're going to close the mod store, go back into your modules tab, and then go to install extra modules. You're going to put a check mark next to RetroArch Neo if you haven't installed that already. Genesis Plus GX and Pico Drive, then you're going to hit this OK button. You're going to install those mods to your system. Also, CD games cannot be compressed like normal, so if this box right here is checked, the games will not work. You have to go to your settings tab. Make sure that the compress games when adding option is not checked or it's going to automatically compress them and they will not work. This is very, very important. You have to make sure they are not compressed when you add them. So the games I'm going to be demonstrating with today are going to be Ground Zero Texas and Snatcher. You can see that Ground Zero Texas is a multi-disc game. That's important. Normally when you find these games, you will have a bin and a queue file. If you're using the Genesis Plus GX core, you can combine both of those files into what's called a CHD file. I'll have a program in my description called chdman.exe which will allow you to do that and it's actually very simple. We're going to copy the snatcher files and we're going to paste them into this folder with our chdman program. To combine them into one file you have to make sure that the Q file is reading the bin file correctly and to do that you need a program called notepad++. What you need to do is right click your Q file, edit with notepad++ and then you'll have this notepad file. What you need to do is make sure this information in the quotes matches the name right here. It doesn't match, so this isn't going to work. What I recommend you do is click on your bin file, highlight the whole thing, copy that text, go down here, and simply paste it into that spot so it matches the naming. Make sure you save it. Close out your notepad. Then we're going to double click this batch file. You'll know you did everything correctly if a little window pops up. This right here. So along with combining both of those files, it's also compressing them into a smaller file. Now this method again will only work with Genesis Plus GX. It will not work with Pico Drive. So if you have a normal one disk game that you want to compress to save space and you want to make it a little easier for you, you can use this method. But only with Genesis Plus GX. Okay, so that took about five or six minutes, but you can see here the CHD file is just about half the size it was originally. You're just gonna take that CHD file and drag it over into your games window. It's gonna be placed on the top of your list. You're gonna change your command line to Sega CD. So that's basically the benefit of using Genesis Plus GX for your Sega CD games. If you have games with multiple discs, you have to use Pico Drive. Genesis Plus GX doesn't have an option you need to switch the discs. So for a game like Ground Zero Texas or Night Trap, you have to use Pico Drive. You're also going to have to add them as separate games per disc. We're going to go to Add More Games and we're going to navigate to the folder where our discs are. You're going to add the Q file. You're always going to add the Q file if you're not combining the discs. So here we go. We'll add disc one. We'll close that window. So now we're going to add the bin file to this. Right click the game. Show in Windows Explorer. This right here is the folder that Hackchi has made for your game. You're going to right click the bin file, copy it, then paste it into that folder that Hackchi made for your game. So again, we have to edit the Q file so it points to this bin file. Right click the Q file, edit with Notepad. You have to make sure that this line right here matches exactly this line right here. It looks like it matches and includes the extension this dot bin. If this is all lowercase it has to be lowercase here as well. Since that matches we're going to leave that alone. Now we're going to add the second disk. So the Q file for the second disk. I'm going to rename this disk 2 so I know which 
disk is which. Right click, show in Windows Explorer. We're going to take the disk to bin, copy it, paste it into that folder. Right click the Q file, edit with Notepad++, double check that the spelling and case is exactly the same. And you can close out of those folders and now we can find our box art. So just like with Snatcher, we have to change the command line right here. We're gonna change that to Pico Drive for both disks. And it goes without saying, you're gonna need some kind of extra storage to get these games to run, either with the USB drive or an internal SD card mod. Just the compressed Snatcher is 300 megabytes, which is over what both systems can handle. You're just gonna hit the Export Games button Select your drive and hit OK. It's going to transfer these games from your PC to your drive to be used on one of your classic systems. So let's head over there, take a look at these games. All right, so Snatcher is up first. Remember, we're playing this one with Genesis Plus GX. That's a good sign. If this comes up, that means you pretty much did everything right. We're going to hit start. Apparently, we're going to snatch. Okay, this is Mika. Welcome. May I help you? I probably enter. Can I just go in? Only authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. We're gonna investigate. Can we investigate her? I guess we can. Okay. It's no use. She's protected by a shield. Well, there's probably a reason for that. Let's try and talk to her. I'm oh. Seed. I've been assigned to Junker headquarters effective today. Oh, you're Mr. Seed. Please forgive me. Oh. She knows her stuff. Don't mess with Mika. Let me tell you about myself. Maybe then you'll tell him. Oh. Oh. Is he? Gillian. You dog. Well, as you can see, Snatcher works very well. It seems to sound really good. We have all the sound effects in there. All the music is intact. Runs really good. So, let's move on to Ground Zero Texas. I'm going to start with Disk 2 on purpose so I can show you how to switch disks. And remember, this is running with the Pico Drive core. You can't run the multi-disk games on Genesis Plus GX. Game, ah, this is what I was waiting for. Remove CD2, insert CD1. So obviously we started the wrong disk. Now we have to insert the new one. To do that, we go into the RetroArch menu by hitting start and select. You're gonna hit B once to go back. You're gonna hit A to go into your quick menu. Hit the up button to go down to the bottom of the list here, down to disk control and go into that option. You'll see here disk image append. Hit A again. Now you're going to have to navigate to your USB drive to where disk 1 is. Using HackGCE 1.2.5 or any version of HackGCE, this is where you have to go. You go down to Media, which is your USB drive. HackG. Games. SNES USA because we're playing this on an SNES Classic. You go to this folder with the three zeros and now you have your games folders here. Um, I just know that the disk one is in this folder here. There it is, Ground Zero Texas disk one. Uh, we're going to hit A on the bin file. We're going to give the game a minute to emulate us putting the first disk into the system. And now we're greeted by this very pixelated, jumbled mess of something. You're the new tactical expert. Right, hop in. Okay, we're the tactical expert. Oh boy. Okay, so where their last chance? Oh, am I playing? Am I playing the game now? Battle cam. Oops. Oh. Don't do it again. Oh, I'm just shooting randomly. I guess I shouldn't do that. I think I got that one. Okay, what's next? Oh, nope, got that one. There we go. Oh, that's neat. Okay, little cinematic. Yeah, take. All right, aliens. Cowboy aliens? Well, you know, oh, hey, hey, oh, just playing ball in the street. Come on. Yeah, that's right. That's what you get for messing with the kids and their ball. There you go. They're a little bit more difficult to get running than your normal game. But if you're a huge fan of the Sega CD, that's how you get them working on your classic system. Make sure you keep coming back. I'm going to have a lot more things to show what you can do with your system. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out. And if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.